Welcome to this talk on health and fitness or general well-being in today, 2020. And this is a presentation that I typically deliver when I go into corporate companies to talk about uh, health and well-being for, uh, for their employees, really. Um, so the, the, the main emphasis of this I want to get across is it's general. It's general information um, that goes out the, into the world. Uh, when I work with somebody one-to-one uh, -one and or groups, small groups, I will look at them as individuals because everybody needs individual training, individual nutrition, protocols, etc., etc. But this is, is general information that I've, I'm hoping to um, clear up some confusion that may be out there when it comes to nutrition and, and training. So hopefully by the end of this little talk, you should understand and define the term health and fitness we should be able to see how, um, how imperative it is that we practice something for the body uh, and for the mind. There are some take on points that I'd like to get across, some of the top reasons that you should get active or stay active um, and think about planning certain next steps uh, for your success in whatever goal you're looking for out of health and well-being. Well-being is a term that encompasses many facets when it comes to um, a, a total, more of a total understanding. So we have health and fitness, we have relationships and security, uh, the purpose, your purpose in life and this journey that you're on, community and environment, uh, all play a part in what is, what is termed as, as general well-being for you, for the human, uh, human being. The one thing I am here to talk about is health and fitness, okay? I'm going to leave the topics of relationships and security and purpose and environment and community for uh, a conversation for another day. But, but right now, I'm specifically going to talk about the things that I can help you influence in your own world, um, which is predominantly health and fitness related. Health is defined as a state of complete mental, physical and social well-being, not simply the absence of illness or infirmity. Fitness is the ability of a person and or a machine to meet the demands of the environment and or to perform a function. And I say a person or a machine, you look at your person, your body, and that's a, that is a machine. That's your machine. You have one. Uh, we, we, we have to look after it, okay? It ha it, this machine that we have is the best machine that we will ever own. So who am I? My name is Mark Edwards. And I am a 20 plus year personal trainer. Okay, I, I got into the industry because I wanted to uh, help people achieve certain fitness goals that I was on the same path of doing myself as a youngster. Uh, I'm a coach, so I take people and, and athletes with a specific sporting goal in mind and I train them toward their goal. Nutrition coach and DNA practitioner, I like to club these two things together because um, my practice when it comes to nutrition prescription, if I can and if the, the client will allow, I'll take their DNA and that takes a lot of the guesswork out of um, finding the right nutrition protocol for them. But void of that, if they don't want to participate in something like uh, DNA testing, we will simply break down their nutrition and their lifestyle protocols and what their body type is and, and the foods they have readily available at any given time and we will help coach them through whatever uh, goals and needs that they need. And, and this is it. It comes with, with nutrition coaching. It comes with one or two methods. It's usually aesthetics. I want to lose X amount of weight and body fat and see my muscles, etc. Or it comes from a health standpoint where you have uh, some sort of internal environment problem that you need to get rid of and start your digestive process or... or uh, allergies or anything like that. So we, we have a, a two-pronged approach when it comes to nutrition, I have. I'm an educator, which means I am, my main goal, I guess my day job is, is stuff like this. Now, this is a general nutrition talk, uh, sorry, general health and nutrition and health and well-being talk, but I have the luxury of going all over the country and all over the world to teach personal trainers the benefits of, of these topics, um, be it physical, uh, kettlebell sandbags, so additional training tools, or nutrition, mental and, uh, and, and well-being and mind coaching. 
um, so that the clients, their clients, achieve their goals a little bit quicker too. More importantly, I'm a husband and a daddy. Um, and I can't want to just spend, <clears throat> I want to spend a little little second talking about these two. So you have Dylan and Kara. Uh, at the time of recording this, Dylan is four and Kara is two. And these are my, my little ones. And it's really interesting to see from such a young age that they both require different kinds of nutrition um, based on what they really go to eat. For example, if we put, if Miranda and I, if we put a spaghetti bolognese down in front of them, Dylan, nine times out of 10, will go straight for the pasta and eat all that, and Cara will go for the meat first. So this tells me, and even as they're growing up now, they have a different kind of body type, uh, which we'll get to a little bit later through this talk. So as they grow, feeding them the same thing in the same quantities at the same time is not, it's gonna be detrimental to one or the other, but th thrive for one or the other. So we have to start looking at making individual choices based on their nutritional requirements and their output as well, because they, they, they're gonna have a different body type, one's a boy, one's a girl, but um, they, they're also gonna be, be pulling, they, they will be pulled to one activity over the other and nutrition, their nutritional needs and their calorific intake uh, when, we get, when they get a little bit older will demand what, we, what they put in their mouth, what we help feed them. So already at a young age, it's, it's individual individuality rather than general nutritional guidelines. So what is this about? Why am I here? Why do I do this? When I, when I go to a company, what am I here to explain and talk about? I typically have two main components that I like to discuss when I come into a group of people, uh, especially at a corporate site. One is health. Well, in terms of health and fitness, one is fitness and training and physical activity, and the other is nutrition. Um, and the, when I say